and welcome back to a new video, this time related to hair. It's been around nine months since I did a video related to hairstyles and styling my hair, so I'm sorry it's been so long, but I thought it's finally time I did something hair related. So in this video I'm going to be showing you three of my favourite types of hairstyles to do, whether it's summer, whether it's when you're on holiday, just general hairstyles that I really, really enjoy doing. For this video I'm collaborating with Batiste, who have brought out a new range of styling products from heat and shine sprays to hair sprays to frizz tamers so I'm going to be playing around with all of those and kind of creating these hairstyles using all of these styling products so I'm pretty excited to get started so let's just get into it so the first hairstyle is just going to be my up ponytail do that I generally do if I'm going to the gym or if I'm just going out and I want to get my hair out of my face and I think it looks super cute especially now I've got this white hair I'm really really loving it at the moment so to give my hair a little bit more bounce and to get it a bit more volumized at the roots I'm going to start off with the oomph my locks XXL volume spray from Batiste I love the packaging of this as well how beautiful is the packaging if this was sort of every day I'd just sort of go in quite quickly with this kind of lift up a bit of the hair spray a little bit Spray a little bit into there, kind of taking the hair midway up, spraying it into the roots, giving it a little bit of a move around, the sides are a little less thick and full so a bit of volume spray goes a long way really with this side of my hair, give it a really good scrunching up adds loads of volume and texture just into these sections so I'm gonna kind of brush it through with my hands push it all back use my hands underneath the nape of the neck to pull the hair up and then pull it really quite high on top of the head that spray is giving me loads of volume now at these roots they're not going to go really flat which is fab so I've just got a mirror <laughs> my wardrobe mirror to um, help me out here so I'm just pulling it up really high and then use a bubble now my hair now is a lot thicker because of the spray so I only need to tie it in twice and then I'll just need to pull it onto the top of my head like so you can really kind of play around with it and manipulate whereabouts you want the hair but the good thing about this is that there's loads of volume now in those roots so they're not flat and it just looks really cute now at this point it all depends what kind of ponytail you want some days I want my ponytail to be super sleek and really really straight some days though I find I put my hair up and all this part of my ponytail usually this is about three days after it's been washed and it's in need of a wash and my hair goes a little bit frizzy unfortunately. If that's the case then just a bit of the smooth it frizz tamer would be perfect just to spray, oh it's really nice, spray through the lengths and just to keep all the hair really soft and smoothed down and that's not going to frizz up as much then and you've got a really sleek pony or on the alternative side if you want to go for something a bit more kind of volumed and texturous then the texturizing spray is the one to go for so with this you can just spray it up I can like spray it up into the hair if you want as well you can also kind of back comb a bit of the roots up and that gives you a really messy, really cool kind of ponytail. I really love this kind of ponytail. It just just says, I've got out of bed, but I look awesome kind of look. And then of course, all we need then is a bit of hairspray, keep it in place for the day. And the Hold Me Hairspray. I absolutely love these massive bottles of hairspray. Make sure that you put a little bit onto the bobble section. So that is hairstyle number one. Just had to put my blinds down because it's playing tricks with my camera. Okay, so hairstyle number two this is going to be my curly look. So now and again, if I'm going to events or if I just really want to kind of umph up my look for the day, I will curl my hair. So any curl you have is perfect. So to start off with, you need to protect your hair from the heat that you're going to be putting on it. So this is the heat and shine spray. If you want, you can spray it all over your hair before you start. I generally prefer when I'm curling my hair to split my hair first 
Let's put that into two sections, like that. And then this heat and shine spray is for heat protection up to 230 degrees, which is pretty awesome. So for this, I would just spray it into the hair, all the sections that I'm about to put the heat onto. It smells really nice. Excuse the uh, lead right in front of my face. <laughs> there aren't as many plugs in this room to help me with this. These curls are probably going to hold so well as well because I've got the heat and shine spray going through them. I've got the texturizing spray. And it'll all help to really hold those curls in. Big time, actually. Okay, halfway done. This takes so long. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off and I'm going to spray it up with the heat and shine spray first. This looks totally covered. First piece from behind with the wand, wrapping it round flat and holding it for 10 seconds. Why? Look at this wire. And we're done. Okay, so my usual way after doing these curls, I'm going to brush them out because otherwise they look crazy. So this is how that looks. I'm going to put a bit more of the XXL volume spray through this. Of course, if I haven't already done it before, then this is exactly what I'd be doing. So just a bit of volume spray into the roots. Loads and loads and loads of oomph. By the way, I'm really sorry if I'm looking here all the time because I'm using that as my mirror because I don't have any other mirror here. You are my mirror right now. I'm also going to put a bit of the Smooth and Frizz Tamer through the ends just to keep them smooth and curly, but I don't want that frizz. So I'm going to put a little bit of this through. It'll keep all the curls nice and smooth and defined. And of course, some of the Hold Me Hairspray to finish. And we're done. And the third and final hairstyle is going to be my curly but half up, half down look. Between kind of my eyebrows, when my eyebrows end in the middle, kind of go up, run my hands up, and take a chunk off the very top of my head, right here. And then about halfway up the scalp, I'll cut through the middle of it. So I don't want to take up all that hair at the back. You're almost letting all that hair at the back go down as normal but you have this bit right here now at this point you can put a little bit of the xxl volume spray into the back of this just give it some root lift and some volume and all you need for this is just a little clear plastic hair tie if you have one tie that up quite high on the top of the head so super easy and then pull it in half and tug that down. I'm just going to pull out a little bit at the front, give that extra volume in there. Of course, finish it off with some hairspray. And that is it. Which was your favourite? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you do decide to recreate any of these looks, make sure to hashtag in the fro or tag me at in the fro on Instagram or Twitter just so I can see them and see what you've been getting up to. If you like the video, make sure to give it a like. That always makes me super happy. And also, if you're new, just make sure you subscribe just down below and then you can come back next time. And if that's the case, I will see you then. Bye! Mwah!